Hello again. Tonight we're going to be looking up into the sky and using our phones to take photographs of a constellation in the real night sky, not just using AR. First, though, we'll use AR, and specifically Starwalk 2, to find a constellation in our sky. So I'll start by launching Starwalk 2. I've got a very narrow window of things to look at. So my constellation tonight is going to be Leo the Lion, which looks like a little backwards question mark on the right and a triangle on the back side. All right, to take our photo, we'll use ProShot 2, or ProShot, we'll use ProShot. There's no ProShot 2 yet. And we'll start off by setting in man it'll set it to manual mode set the focus all the way to 100 we'll set our shutter speed to whatever its maximum is for me that's one third of a second for you if you have a better phone if you can afford something better than my phone you might have a full second maybe more uh, I'm going to set it for the maximum ISO for me that's 1760 and I'll leave the temperature the same. For my focal length, I'm going to go as wide as possible. For me, that's, uh, that's the 1.8. Now, something that we've used before is light painting mode. And in tonight's lab, we'll be trying light painting uh, with a few different settings. We'll try it at, uh, at 4 seconds, 10 seconds, Actually, let, let, you know what? Let's go for four different settings. Let's go for four seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and a minute. All right? That sounds good. So we'll start with four seconds. Make sure the mode is set for the little wavy, little wavy lines. All right. I've got my Pop-Tarts box uh, ready to go, sitting on this stump here. And I'm going to come over here, point this thing up at the sky, and, and try not to bump it, and just lightly touch it. And then one, two, three, four. There's my first photo. Let's see how that came out. Well, I can see some stars there, but it's not so great. So let's go back. We'll hit the little button on the bottom right-hand side again to go back into photo mode. And I'll change, I'll change it to 10 seconds. Just tap the screen. Let's try it again. Let's see how it goes. Three, five, seven, nine. All right. We'll take a look at that now. Tap the bottom left. And we'll see it's a little bit different than before. All right, let's keep going. Change it to 30 seconds. Try it again. Maybe we need to fast forward through this a little bit. Let's try our fast forward. Because I don't think you want to wait around for the full 30 seconds. looking a little bit better and finally we'll do the full minute we definitely want to fast forward for this one. Oh, I gotta stretch my legs oh. All right, 
right, that's done. Let's check it out. All right. Oh, that's much clearer. But you know what? I'm going to try one more thing before we finish up. You might have noticed that you're able to see me right now because all right to shoot this video I needed to uh, bring out this lantern and the lantern tends to light up the trees so what I'm gonna do I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the lantern you can't see me but I can see this phone and we're going to run the same minute long exposure with no light lighting up the trees or the house around me all we have is the light from the sky and we'll take a look and see what that looks like Sounds like someone's blaring their horn off in the distance. Wow, they're they're really blaring that horn. Well, thankfully, my photo is almost done, so I can go inside and ignore the anxiety that my neighbors are feeling right now. All right, let's take a look and see what that one looks like. I think something happened there. somehow picked up on the on the light when I was shutting it off so I'm gonna have to do it again all right just make sure my autofocus is set to 100% go into burst mode let's try it one last time That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And you can see just a little bit of star trail in it. Now that's what happens when the sky is rotating. So you might try doing that with the 30 second and the lights out on your own. And somehow, oh, there we go. All right, so that's what you'll be trying. And you can try some different settings to decide if you like the 30 second setting or the 10 second or the full minute and what sort of lights you have on and uh, what your exposure is. And so play around with those. You'll be submitting your three best photos of those uh, that you get for the evening. And you're trying to see the full constellation. So good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're able to turn in.